The image shows the geothermal sites in India. It is in Himalayas, Sohana, Kambay, Sanada, in west coast, Godavari, Mahanadi, The image shows the cross-section of Earth. The first part is mantle, outer core, and inner core. As we move towards the center of Earth the temperature starts rising. The temperature is more than 4000 degrees Celsius at center of Earth. The animation shows the core section of Earth. The temperature reaches 5000 degrees Celsius at the center. The second image shows that the rain falls on the Earth's surface and seeps down to the hot rocks below. The hot water heats and return to the surface. These are the geothermal locations in India, each location shows the heat flow and thermal gradient. Depends on the heat flow and thermal gradient, there can be either availability of hot water at surface or steam directly coming out to surface. These geothermal location includes Himalayas, Sohana, West Coast Kambay, Sanada, Godavari, Mahanadi These are in the states of Jammu and Kashmir. Himachal Pradesh, Maharashtra. Gujarat, Chhattisgarh. And Bihar. The geothermal power plant has production well and injection well. From the production well steam is coming out. Injection well is for supplying the water to heated rock if underground reservoir of water is not available. The heat of rock is utilized to heat up the water or for producing the steam. Figure shows the dry steam hydrothermal system. This system is similar to the thermal power plant which is used for generation of electricity. Instead of using coal as fuel, heat from the earth is utilized for generating steam. Production well and reinjection well are as shown in figure. The purpose of centrifugal separator is to separate out foreign particle coming out with steam that may reduce the life of turbine it allows to pass through turbine. Dry steam is passed to the turbine which rotates the turbine blade, the shaft of turbine is coupled to the generator which generates the electricity. The steam condenser is used to condense the steam coming out of steam turbine, by removing the heat from steam, this is done by using cold water which absorbs the heat of steam. Cooling tower is used to cool the water which is used for circulating in the condenser to take heat from steam. The excess water is again sent to the injection well. The steam jet ejector is used separate out non-condensable gases. The figure shows the wet steam hydrothermal system single flash. 
Here the flash separators are used to separate out the particle. Only vapor portion is allowed to pass to the turbine. The hot brine available can be used for direct thermal application. The remaining parts are similar to the system described in earlier slide. The figure shows the wet steam double flash arrangement. Two turbines are used one high pressure and other low pressure. Both the high and low pressure steam is effectively utilized in this system. The remaining parts are same as described in the earlier slide number 8. The animation shows the geothermal power plant. Hot steam coming out from the production well pass through the turbine, coupled to the generator for generating electricity. Condenser is used to condense the steam coming out of steam turbine. The condensed steam that is water is sent back to earth through injection well. The animation shows the geothermal power plant uses heat exchanger, this is binary fluid system. If the temperature of fluid coming from production well is less, in such situation binary fluid system are used. The secondary fluid with lower boiling point is used, like in this case isopentane vapor is used. Hot fluid that is primary fluid coming out from the production well, exchange heat with secondary fluid pass through the turbine, coupled to the generator for generating electricity. The primary fluid is sent back to the earth through the injection well. The animation shows the another geothermal power plant, used for generation of electricity. The following are the advantages of geothermal power plant. Cheap source is no other fuel is used for burning. 24 hours heat is available from Earth. Independent of weather storage features. It require little land area it is an alternative source for power generation. Disadvantages of geothermal power plant. These are site specific. Low grade heat. Dissolved gases and solute comes out from Earth's surface. Drilling operation is required for production and injection well. Corrosive geothermal fluid may damage the steam turbine. Application of geothermal heat. It can be used for direct heating application. It can be used as heated water. It is used for generating electricity. The steam thermal power plant. Temperature and pressure less as compared to steam thermal power plant. Efficiency is around 
What is geothermal? The word geothermal comes from the Greek words geo, earth, and therm, heat. Thus, geothermal energy means heat inside the earth. Geothermal energy energy that comes from the ground, power extracted from heat stored in the earth. Geothermal energy. Direct applications. Small-scale uses. Heating homes. Hot springs. Greenhouse heating. Food dehydration plants. Agriculture. Crop drying. Milk pasteurization. The earth is made of layers. At the center is a core of iron. Around that is an outer core of iron and rock so hot the rock is melted. The liquid rock is called magma. The next layer is a mixture of rock and magma called the mantle. The shell of the earth with the oceans and mountains is called the crust. Heat inside the earth. The inside of the earth is very hot. Sometimes this heat comes near the surface in the form of magma. We can use this heat to warm our houses and make electricity. What is geothermal energy? The center of the earth is around 5,000 degrees Celsius hot enough to melt rock. Even a few kilometers down, the temperature can be over 250 degrees Celsius. In general, the temperature rises 1 degree Celsius for every 36 meters you go down. In volcanic areas, molten rock can be very close to the surface and in such areas geothermal energy has been used for thousands of years for cooking and heating. How do we use geothermal energy? People have used geothermal energy for heating and bathing for thousands of years. Hot springs are pools of water that are warmed by underground springs, so they are always hot. Today, power plants use steam from geothermal wells to make electricity. The steam is used to spin turbines. The turbines spin magnets in coils of copper wire to make electricity. Where can we find geothermal energy? Even though geothermal energy is underground, there are visible features on the surface. These include volcanoes, hot springs, and geysers. A volcano means hot magma is near the surface. The most active geothermal resources are usually found where earthquakes and volcanoes are concentrated. Most geothermal activity occurs in an area called the Ring of Fire. Geothermal energy is renewable. The hot water we use will be replaced by rain. The heat inside the earth will always be there. More heat is made every day in the earth's core. We won't run out of geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is clean no fuel is burned, so there is no air pollution. 
The steam is turned into water and put back into the earth. Geothermal energy is cheap, new power plants can make electricity for about the same as coal power plants. A geyser is a type of hot spring that erupts periodically, ejecting a column of hot water and steam into the air. The formation of geysers requires a favorable hydrogeology which exists in only a few places on Earth, and so they are fairly rare phenomena. About 1,000 exist worldwide, with about half of these in Yellowstone National Park, USA. Geyser eruptive activity may change or cease due to ongoing mineral deposition within the geyser plumbing, exchange of functions with nearby hot springs, earthquake influences, and human intervention. Can geothermal energy run out? 100% renewable Earth's core is always going to be heated. As long as there is a way to extract the energy from the heat, the energy will always be available. Overall, geothermal appears to be a sound solution to energy needs. Geothermal energy has the ability to expand. Few environmental effects very cost-efficient. Geothermal is renewable. 